was a Target 12 investigators exclusive two years ago. We found cigarettes being sold without proper tax being paid to the state of Rhode Island. And now it's happening again. State police just announced a huge bust of contraband cigarettes shipped across state lines to be sold here, cheating the state out of tax revenue. And we're digging through the latest arrest. Private News reporter Stephen Schuler has the details. He joins us now with a story that's all new at 5.30. We've learned this is the largest bus of contraband cigarettes in Rhode Island's history, and officials tell us this alleged crime ring cost the state millions. State police lay out a mountain of evidence. Investigators tell us they seized 121,000 cigarettes and more than $83,000 in cash in a multi-state sting on untaxed tobacco. They have hides, electronic hides that are hidden within their businesses, within their cars, within their homes. Just like anybody else that's involved in some type of nefarious illegal activity, they use the ingenuity to avoid being captured. On Tuesday, ICE agents arrested three Rhode Island convenience store owners. Prosecutors say the men bought cigarettes in bulk from 35-year-old Mohammed Mohammed of Cambridge, Massachusetts, who smuggled the untaxed cartons from three southern states to Rhode Island. Citizens of this state, at least, and, uh, are hurting. And we have people that figured out a way to become entrepreneurs of their own to make money on the back of, of our citizens. We've learned state agents checked 30 convenience stores in all, discovering 15 with contraband products. State officials estimate this scam cost taxpayers millions. They replenish their supply every three to four weeks in the state. So if you annualize that, it's about $5.7 million in annual cigarette and sales tax revenue. We're told all the stores in question are still open, but the state may seek to suspend their licenses in the coming weeks. State police say more arrests are likely. I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News. We are working to develop.